the Leon van Rensburg chase is race two on day two. It's a three mile maiden chase. At the top, we've got Alaskan Gacho for Jamie Gollins. Basic Cousin, David Robertson. Great Saddler, Darren Thompson. Window Rock Lover, Vinnie Gerard. Cloak of Magic, Leon van Rensburg. Crucial Elsie, James Shea. Langley Star, Graham Clutterbuck. Nadia Molly for Derek Hinton. Neve Campbell for Matt Cooper. Spherical Lady for Jim Murray. The Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland. And Wild Rose for David Hooley. A field of 12 this time. Ready to go in the rain, and away we go. Great Saddler, one of the first to show, but the one in the red jacket that's been driven to get into the lead is Neve Campbell for Matt Cooper. Pretty sure that one was around last season. The Wild Witch is now in second, then Wild Rose is third, Great Saddler fourth, and Langley Star and Spherical Lady after that. Towards the back, Basic Cruise In is just the back marker on the outside as they go across the road. And head towards the first of 18 fences that they've got to take in this one. And a stiff test of jumping for these newcomers. Mostly newcomers. One or two of them are back from last season. Unless they're converts from the flat. And it's Neve Campbell who's in the lead. As they get over the first of the ditches. All over its safety window. Rock Lover has just been relegated to the back spot now. But Neve Campbell leading by a good six lengths. To the Wild Witch in second. Trying to give Josh a quick fire double. They get over the third. And all safely over that one. Although Leon's horse cloak of magic didn't jump it all that well. But Neve Campbell continuing to lead as they get into the fourth. And the leader went right through the top of that one. And has subsequently had its lead cut down to a little more than a length. The Wild Witch second. Great Saddler third. The grey on the outside is Spherical Lady. The purple jacketed white rose is also creeping a little bit closer. Window Rock Lover continuing to be the back marker. But Neve Campbell recovered from that mistake. And has now regained a two length lead. Two to three from the Wild Witch in second. The Great Saddler third. Then Spherical Lady is fourth on the outside of Wild Rose with Nadia Molly on the inside of Alaskan Gacho. Just tucked in behind them is Langley Star in Cloak of Magic who seems to be running in snatches at the moment. The outside of that one, Crucial Elsie. And then the back two. Our basic cruise in and window rock lover as they head into the final two miles. And with Neve Campbell coming into this ditch, stood off it but jumped it well. All got over it okay. Still on their feet with Neve Campbell clearing the lead. Oh, not anymore though. A disastrous jump there by the leader. She's been taking some liberties and she took off about five minutes too soon. And the poor old jockey had no chance. He got planted in the fence. And Neve Campbell is out but racing along on her own so no harm to the horse as they get over the ninth i'm not quite sure the jockey would have fared so well the way he got wedged into the birch but it's the great saddler who's now in the lead langley star has come through from nowhere to now take it up so that one obviously fancies a bit of front running duties and has gone on maybe one or two of the others just don't fancy front running duties and langley stars ended up in the lead without really wanting to be they pass the winning post then with a circuit to go. On a talk in the forums about tactics of your trials and all that sort of stuff. And you can see the difference there because when Neve Campbell was in the race, bowling along in the lead, everybody was in a settled position. Now they're shuffling around a little bit. And Langley Star, who was in the middle of a pack, has now found itself in the lead. And Langley Star's in the lead, then the Wild Witch is second. And the Dear Molly on the inside is third. And a great saddler. And basic Cruzen has also moved forward from the back. Crucial Elsie is the one that's dropped to the back now as they get into number 10. And they're all safely over number 10. And the Alaskan Gacho also dropping towards the back now as well as the Wild Witch comes through to take it up. So it's the Wild Witch and Great Saddler with Langley Star down on their near side as they take this next ditch. And they're all safely over it. One or two of them a little bit sketchy, but they're all over it okay. And the Wild Witch is in the lead from the Great Saddler in second. Into fence number 12. And a mistake there by Jim Murray's Grey Horse Spherical Lady. As Alaskan Gacho just starts to drop off at the back. Into the next one they go and it's Great Saddler who's jumped into the lead. Great Saddler now has gone on by length to the Wild Witch in second. Wild Rose is coming through 
on the outside into third. That one's making significant progress and being driven up to join the leading pair as they get over the 14th. And there's a fall there. Langley Star's gone. So Langley Star is out of the race at that one as they head now towards the home turn. And it's Great Saddler who's in front from Wild Rose in second. The Wild Witch is third. Basic Cruzan is in fourth. Then comes Spherical Lady. Then Window Rock Lover. They look to be the main ones, although Cloak of Magic is trying to run on. So too is Crucial Elsie. We can forget Nadia Modi, Molly and Alaskan Gacho as they head into the straight. Then they've still got four more fences to take. And Wild Rose has now come through to take it up from Great Sadler in second. Over this ditch they go, and Wild Rose landed him a lead. Great Sadler is in second. Spherical Lady is in third. Suddenly the Wild Witch is starting to backtrack over the third last they go, and it's Wild Rose being chased now by Spherical Lady as they come down to the final two. It's Wild Rose in the lead. Spherical Lady is in second. This is the second last. Good jump by the leader. Good jump by the second as well. Wild Rose continuing to lead. Spherical Lady in second. This is the final fence. Over it they go, and Wild Rose is in the lead still. Wild Rose holding on with a furlong to go. Spherical Lady is beginning to close. Great Sadler and Window Rock Lover are trying to get closer. It's still just Wild Rose in front, hanging on by three parts of a length inside the final half furlong. Wild Rose is hanging on. Spherical Lady is trying to close, but can't make up the ground. And it's going to be one for David Uli as Wild Rose takes it. Spherical Lady second, Great Sadler third, Window Rock Lover four, then Wild, which crucial Elsie ran on well. That'll do better over a little bit further and a long way back to the last two. Alaskan Gacho and the dear Molly. So Wild Rose came to win the race in the on the home turn, really, and just about hung on for David Hooley. Spherical Lady second for Jim Murray. Great Saddler third for Darren Thompson. Window Rock Lover for Vinnie Gerard was fourth, and a Wild Witch for Joshua Sutherland was back in fifth.